now we have a k being multiplied to each one and I've also added a variable b that's going to be in the exponent of each one the 0, 1, 2, 3, etc are still the number of units that it is from the origin so this one has zero units from the origin it's right here this other number is one unit from the origin this one is two units from the origin and so forth now I'm gonna move the bottom ruler so it's two units from the origin and see what happens so the distance will be s equals two times b if I divide the top one by the bottom one it's gonna look something like this the k's will cancel out because k divided by k is one and in the exponent here you're gonna have the two times b and then since you have divided by minus whatever is in this exponent here so minus two times b plus s and the answer simplified will be a to the power of s which is a to the power of two times b and if I go on to the next one the answer will be consistent a to the power of two times b for each one notice that it was a to the power of 2 times b and not k times a to the power of 2 times b so we lost that k when we did that operation and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later at 3 units from the origin so s equals 3 times b we're going to have something like this and not surprising the answer is going to be a to the power of 3 times b which is what he is right here and it's going to be consistent throughout each one in the ruler a to the power of 3 times b and also the k disappeared now I'm going to change it just so we can see it better and we're going to let the k equals 10, the a equals 10, and the b equals 0 0.1. And you're going to see why I'm doing this pretty soon. So this is what we have. So if we evaluate it, we're going to get something like this. The first one's going to be 10. At one unit from the origin, the number is going to be 12.5892 and so on. The next number is going to be 15 point something, 19 point something, and so on for the ruler. Notice that the numbers are not whole numbers. So, for example, between here, the 19.9526 and the 25.1188, there has to be a 20. And we're going to try to find out what distance from the origin is that 20 going to be. So, going back to the numbers that we had, here is what number we had before we evaluated it. this number here is basically the distance from the origin so this one is at zero this one here is at one unit from the origin which we will call x equals one unit from the origin here will be x equals two units from the origin this will be x equals three units from the origin this one will be x equals four units from the origin and so forth So 
So basically I want to find out how many units from the origin is it going to take for the answer to be exactly 20 because I don't want to deal with a scale that has all these decimal points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for x, which is the distance from the origin. Here's x in our equation. So we have 20 equals 10 times 10 to the power of x times 0 0.1. Dividing both sides by 10, I have this. Applying log to both sides, I get this. And then that will basically move the exponent, which is a power of 10, to this line. And if I divide both of these sides by 0 0.1, I get that this here is equal to x. Solving for x then and evaluating that, we have that x is approximately 3.01030. Which puts it at about right here. Almost 3. Now we'll do the same thing for 30, which we know is between 25 and 31. So I'm going to apply the same method. And we have that x is approximately 4.77121, which is about right here, at a distance of 4.77121 from the origin. And we'll do the same thing for 40, which is between 39 and 50. And I'm going to just do this quickly, as you already have the idea or 70, or 80, 90, 100. Going back here, let's do the 10 that we didn't do. And basically we have this scale here, which is not spaced evenly anymore. However, the numbers are all round. Now we'll make the bottom scale symmetrical to the top scale. Everything here is in increments of 10. We're going to also add the scale and the other increments, starting by increments of 1. So I'm going to have 11, 12, 13, all the way up to 20. And we're basically using the exact same method as before. So all of these in blue here are in increments of 1. Then we get to a point where we don't have room for increments of 1 anymore, and we're going to do increments of 2. So we're going to go 32, 34, 36, 38, 42, all the way up to 60. Now there's no more room for increments of 2. So we're going to do increments of 5. And there we have it. Now we'll make this symmetrical and put it in the bottom scale too. And we'll have this. We're going to call the scale on top the A scale and the scale in the bottom the B scale.